The death penalty in the U.S. is expensive, doesn't stop crime, and is losing support. So why is capital punishment still a thing? Arkansas just conducted a back-to-back -back execution for the first time in almost two decades, killing two inmates in one night. Like many other states, they're running out of the drugs needed to carry out death penalty executions. The supplies they have are expiring, and companies that manufacture these drugs are refusing to sell new batches for the purpose of capital punishment. Typically, a lethal injection consists of three drugs. The first drug induces unconsciousness. In most states, that's either sodium thiopental or pentobarbital. Arkansas uses midazolam. The second drug, vacuronium bromide, stops the inmates' breathing and causes them to go into a state of paralysis. And the third drug, potassium chloride, stops the heart. Companies across Europe and America have adopted restrictions to prevent their products from being used to kill inmates. But that's not stopping states from executing prisoners. Some are buying these drugs without disclosing how they actually plan to use them. One medical supply company said it sold Arkansas a drug under the impression that it would be used for medical purposes. They later found out it was bought for executions. The lack of drugs has also led some states to experiment with new combinations, leading to painful and botched executions. In Oklahoma, one inmate struggled violently, groaning, writhing, and clinching his teeth. It took over 45 minutes for him to die. And it gets worse. Death penalty cases can cost up to 10 times more than other cases because they require more lawyers and stricter security for inmates. While almost half of Americans may still favor the death penalty, the truth is that opposition to capital punishment is now the highest it's been since 1972. So, with the drugs running out and the cost of the death penalty taking a toll on U.S. taxpayers, isn't it about time that America stopped killing?